Hi everyone, Matt with Split Dragon here. Um, today we're going to talk about vouchers. So vouchers are one of the most popular seller features. Uh, Lazada loves to push them. They, they they place them all over the customer experience so that uh, uh, customers can find them and, and feel like they're saving money. Uh, in, in the in the Lazada customer experience, there's three primary places where you're going to find a voucher that a seller can create within Seller Center. So uh, the first place is within the vouchers on the homepage, right? So there's a, actually a section front and center uh, where you can run through and you can navigate and you can collect these uh, vouchers as a user. So um, uh, let's see what I'm interested in. I'm interested in something to help me clean my house. So I've collected some Dyson Lasmal vouchers and these are basically now going to go and they're going to sit within my store, right? So I can go and I can navigate to my account. Then I'll go over to vouchers, right? And you can see the vouchers basically that I've collected, okay? Um, so these are actually from quite long ago. These are the voucher codes. Um, but what I've collected is what we call a collectible voucher. So I'll just navigate up to vouchers one more time. Uh, and you can see that there's everything here. You can filter by last mall, no minimum spend. Uh, but this is what the customer experience looks like. There's also uh, functionality for you to present these uh, on the store page okay so this is a good place so right now um, this seller King Kicks is posting their vouchers on their store page okay spend $80 get $5 off save three dollars and thirty cents flat okay so they've created a number of vouchers right here and they're visible within their store uh, they're trying to get people to follow them that's a that's a nice tactic of course uh, and then you can also find it on a pdp page so if we go into the pdp page let's look and see what type of vouchers we have available right here and here it is spend 80 get five dollars off so i'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, collect one of these vouchers so i collect it um, and then from here i can go ahead and add it to the cart uh, the promotion's already applied because this is what we call a collectible voucher, uh, and I can check out with it. So um, that's the general flow. It's it's used to uh, convince customers that there's a, a bit of a special promotion that's going on right now, um, and uh, it's given a lot of visibility uh, within the Lazada site because they're trying to um, communicate that they're they're the a cheap destination to go online shopping, right? So um, to create uh, seller center vouchers, uh, basically all you need to do is you just need to jump into promotions, navigate down to seller voucher. Once you get in here, you can uh, basically see uh, all of the existing vouchers. So there's two different types of vouchers. There's, uh, there's um, collectible vouchers, and then one-time vouchers or, or voucher code vouchers. So basically, um, it starts by specifying a date for it to start and a redeem time, so a start and an end date. So right now, we've set it for about two, two months. Um, this is uh, Matt's test voucher one, OK? And you, there's, there's two types. So there's either a, a collectible or a voucher code. So the flow that I walked through uh, before where we jump into the seller's store and we uh, go ahead and we, we collect this voucher and it's all, and now it's associated with my account. It's associated with the customer account. So once I check out, uh, I can check out with this power cable, it'll automatically be applied, okay? So it's, it's automatically going to be applied. So I go ahead and I click add to cart. Now we go here uh, and then the, the, the voucher has already been applied. Go to buy now voucher has already been applied okay so you can you can basically see that see that the voucher has been applied because it's one a collectible voucher so uh alternatively we have voucher codes okay so voucher codes are a little bit more rare it's not as nice of a customer experience but it is something that's valuable if you want to send out a discount code to like your email list or a subset of customers right um, whereas if you publish a collectible voucher, it's going to be visible all over your PDP. It's going to be visible all over your store. It can potentially be visible on the homepage of Lazada. So if you want to be a little bit quieter or sneaker, sneakier uh, with your promotion activity, uh, you can do um, Matt's test voucher. So it, once, any, anyone, uh, once anyone ty types this in as they're checking out, 
then you're going to get um, that that discount that applies. So after that, you basically just spec- specify the, the discount amount, whether it's a specific money value, X, X dollars of Singapore dollars, uh, or uh, X percentage, right? So let's just go ahead and say that this uh, voucher code, if inputted during the checkout, is going to give you 25% off. The minimum order value amount would be $40. The maximum discount amount could be... I don't know, fifteen dollars. How about that? So, and then after that, you just submit it, and now your voucher is live. You can go ahead and start sharing this through your email list or on your Facebook page or something like that. Um, if you want to do a collectible voucher, it's really just specifying a start time. And then you you specify where you want it to be displayed, uh, the regular channels, which is basically PDP, your store page. Uh, as well as um, um, the, potentially the home page of Lazada. Uh, store followers, which means that it's published to your existing so- store followers, or it's just hidden uh, and it's, it's displayed offline. So that's basically um, an overview of uh, seller vouchers, collectible vouchers. And, uh, you know, once it's applied to a shop or an SKU, uh, it's, it's there and it's ready to to, to be run. So this is a, a, a big part of Lazada's um, uh, initiative to, to drive costs down and to communicate the incentivize uh, lower prices on the platform. Um, so I think you'll see a lot of kind of promotions and events where these like collectible store vouchers are, are quite critical, right? Um, and, and they're necessary in order to enter a campaign or to get certain um, sort of benefits from Lozada marketplace team. So that's an overview of uh, seller vouchers, uh, both collect- collectible and uh, code vouchers. Uh, if you have any questions, as always, please just uh, type a comment at the bottom of this video. Uh, and if you if you enjoyed this content, please sign up for a subscription at, at splitdragon.com. Um, that's all for today, and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye.